Now, this one I find very interesting. Ben Searcy, mate, I'm used to having you on the passenger side, even with me on the occasion, and you're a you know, target champion, Code Robin. You're driving. How does that work? Yeah, well, you've obviously taught me a few things in the last few <laughs> years. So, yeah, looking forward to having a good run this weekend. And that's the thing, co-driving is something you, you obviously do, but you started out driving many, many years ago. Yeah, a long, long time ago. I used to do the Australian Rally Championship, uh, a few rounds here and there, and then had a break and tried to get into some co-driving and obviously done a fair bit of co-driving over the last few years, but I uh, still like a drive. It's good fun every now and then. I probably can't drive as fast as some of the other guys that I compete with, but I uh, like to go out and enjoy it as much as I can. What I find fascinating is once you've got, I don't know whether it's a taste or you start driving, very few drivers can jump in the passenger seat and not be scared or don't have the faith in the in the person who's driving. How do you combine both? Is it something rare that I reckon only a few people can do? Yeah, well, it's just like a big driving lesson, isn't it? A free driving lesson <laughs> going along with someone like you, for example, in Target Taz for five or six days. Uh, how do I do it? I don't know. I guess it's just uh, I enjoy co-driving because you can, in, you can really get a feel for learning things, learning about the car, learning about uh, driving techniques, learning about all sorts of things like that. Jumping in the driver's seat is just... Uh, like I said, I do it more, more for fun and, and just, to, just to have a bit of a blast. Might be, <laughs> it might be for fun, mate, but I know you'll go really well and we'll look forward to catching them through the week. Oh, thanks. Thanks, mate. Thank